Dun, oh. dun, dun, dun. All right, thanks to a vintage van vanity who I will link below, although I really can't remember specifically which video she had this in. Um, I, you know, back a couple videos ago, got alligator clips to do a wet set, and I actually did a wet set like three weeks ago, and I didn't sleep in it, I just left it in during the, um, you know, morning and took it out like before dinner, and it came out, like I really love, I love, love, love the curls you get from pin curls, and alligator clips make it a lot easier on your hair, I don't know if it's easier to sleep in, I don't think I ever slept in a pin curl set. Um, I got similar curls, similar type of curls from doing rag curls that I slept in, and they were gorgeous curls, but <laughs> it was freaking took forever to set it, and it took even longer to take it out, because the rags were literally rags from like an old paint stained threadbare shirt that I cut up that was like had gorgeous fabric, by the way, which you can't find anymore in the stores. You just simply cannot find beautiful pattern fabric. The best you're gonna get is some crap like this from Target, which is not bad, but it's not like the closest I've found come to finding a great floral pattern. <laughs> is a Tommy Hilfiger shirt I got a long time ago. Like, not that long. Three years? Two years? two and a half years ago. Anyway, so I got this. It has uh, terrible <laughs> chemicals in it. It says um, to mix one part of this lotion to four to, f four to five parts water um, if you have tinted or bleached hair, which I assume my hair counts as tinted and bleached because I have highlights and uh, dye. Um, so that just means my hair is more porous and therefore part of what this does is like seal uh, your hair shaft and it helps hold the curl. So anyways, you put this in, instead of using water to spray to wet down your hair, you spray down with this and it just helps your uh, curl stay in and hold longer. And then, I was also about out of my dry shampoo, which you will see maybe in my June Empties video, but that's not the kind of video you want to see because you only want to see thrift store hauls and boobies, but um, this is so gorgeous and the girl there recommended it and I tried it out, so of course I don't even remember the last time I washed my hair. I was really sad because today when I took an Epsom bath before I went out to run errands, I realized that I hadn't bathed since Friday morning. Did not have time to do that Saturday morning before I normally like to do everything. If I had tried to wash my hair Saturday morning at 5 in the morning and tried to braid it while it was still wet and I had to leave the house at 645, Holy moly, that would have been ouchy, ouchy. So, I didn't wash my hair, I just uh, braided it up. And I have no idea. Maybe I washed it Friday morning. Did I even take a shower Friday morning? So I might not have bathed since Thursday morning. And I think that was when I washed my hair last. Um, so this smells kind of like that, uh... Helen Salon Selectives, Helen Curtis, Curtis, uh, hairspray that used to, or mousse that came in those giant pink, hot pink cans, like back in the 90s, if you remember that. So it smells kind of like that, and, ooh, I think it's better than the Salon Graphics in the white and black and pink bottle that I got at Walmart. Um, so, dry shampoo is your savior, especially if you want to do any braiding or vintage hairstyles. You must not try this on clean hair. Clean hair is tangly. Clean hair has been stripped of its natural oils and will no longer uh, be styleable. 
And so, I'm much more of a fan of augmenting <laughs> your natural uh, hair oil than of stripping it clean and drying it out and then putting some product in it. But that being said, I have very oily hair and uh, yeah, I need some dry shampoo to make that shit not look like a uh, tar slick. And I want you to know that as crotchety and grumpy as your grandparents and um, probably if they grew up when my grandparents grew up then they're your great great grandparents and they're dead and you never knew them. But anyway, back in the day of your great great grandparents, they didn't wash their hair but once a week. Okay? Now they didn't have all these toxic things going on around them and uh, in their hair. In their hair. They weren't breathing in like gas, uh, car exhaust, and chemtrails, and. Blah, blah, blah. So, really, if they just brushed their hair, you know, it just distributed the oil throughout their hair, and uh, they made it nice and easy to braid and put up in chignon and chignon and Gibson Girl. Yeah, seriously, that's how old my grandparents were, okay? They were alive back in the Gibson girl day, okay? Yeah, you don't even know what that is. Alright, so we're gonna have to split this into numerous videos because it's not gonna happen as one big video. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to hear more singing, then please comment below that you like the little singing because I don't get to do that enough. I don't have a kitty. No kitty. And my boyfriend doesn't like the singing. This little singing. He thinks that I think he's a kindergartner when I do that. I also don't teach kindergarten anymore. And there needs to be this outlet for this little, little sing song because there's no kitty. No kitty. And so, if you like thrift store and vintage hauls, comment below. If you like rambling product reviews that make no sense, comment below. If you like uh, whiny vlog, crotchety old people, like how do you live in this reality vlogs, uh, comment below. Because I'm open to things that I can do with my limited camera. Oh, what else crazy did I do in this rambling set of videos that I'm going to split into at least two videos? Uh, crazy accents. If you like crazy accents, comment below. I have a little story about my crazy accents. Yeah, so we're going to do another little clip about my crazy accents.